Okay, so this is um, kind of weird. I don't really know how to open this break. And um, just imagine, I'm in the studio right now, by the way, it is Rika on Power 99.1. And uh, there's about four people in here, which is okay. It's by Governor Inslee, it's okay. Okay? Um, and it's not just people. Back in March, um, I got an award. Um, and it was from the Girl Scouts of um, Eastern Washington and Northern Idaho. And we were supposed to have this big, you know, gala, gala, you know, sweets before supper event. And it didn't happen. Uh, like a lot of things didn't happen in 2020. And, you know, I, I, I was still told by them that, nope, you're still an award recipient. You got, got it. Um, and then I was also told one day I will pop up on you and give you your award, award in person. And that person who told me that is Brian. And Brian is in the studio with me right now. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Good morning. And you literally drove all the way up from Spokane because this was your baby. This was your event. This was going to be the inaugural of um, Sweets Before Supper for the Girl Scouts. And you really wanted to do the event. That probably would have been the last thing we did, you know, um, in the COVID season. And you weren't able to do it, but you kept your promise. And I hear you have something you got to say. <laughs> Rika, I got a lot to say here. Yes. And I'm feeling the power of 99.1 <laughs> this morning. It is great to be here even at 8 in the morning here, yeah. driving down from Spokane. But I, you set that up well. My name is Brian Newberry. I'm the CEO of Girl Scouts of Eastern Washington in Northern Idaho. And about a year ago, actually, about a year ago, we said, you know what? Why don't we recognize women out there who inspire Girl Scouts? Why aren't we have women of distinction? So let's do this. And so we came up with a concept called Sweets Before Supper, where we're actually going to have celebrity chefs uh, use thin mints and make some great desserts before supper. And then we were going to celebrate women. Yeah. We didn't know how many women we were going to do, but we're 108 years old. So we said, you know what? Eight sounds like a great number. Yeah. And so, Rika, you were one of those eight. And I, I will just hear... Uh, just tell you that you are an incredible woman. And as we looked out across our spans of 65,000 square miles, 3,500 Girl Scouts, 1,500 amazing victorious volunteers who did survive the incredible cookie season. So to Yay. all of you out there who <laughs> bought cookies for us, you saved this council, you saved these 3,500 Girl Scouts during the heights of COVID. We were one of five councils to go during these difficult times of really, most of them got through it before the disease hit. We didn't but yet you survived our council. And indeed, you even bought 35,000 cookies to wow. give to healthcare workers and our Yay. veterans who Yay. many have been sent overseas already. Yeah. So this is an incredible community and we love you Tri-Cities and we appreciate you. But you know what? You have some incredible leaders down here and one of them is Rika. And when we were looking in around the holiday time frame of leaders to nominate, Tom Lynn Bailey, who works down here for Girl Scouts, um, sent us up your resume, and, and as soon as the committee looked on that website and it saw the quote that said that you're here to inspire young girls to show them that they can do whatever they want to do, yeah. everyone said, deal. Rika <laughs> is a woman of a distinction. Oh. And so th that was it. And then we moved forward, and as you just said, we got so close, and March 13th is when we canceled it. It was to be our 108th birthday on March 12th. It was, actually, but... On March 14th, we were not able to have birthday cake, nor were we able to have sweets before supper. Yeah. But what did stay behind, what did stay behind, is eight women of distinction. Another one that I'm going to recognize here in the near uh, future is Michelle Whitney, who is the superintendent of Pasco yes, Schools. I know her. I so talked we, to her ah, yesterday. That's so crazy. I forgot she was on. Yeah. That's so funny. I should have um, told her congratulations as well. Um, she knows my parents very well. And I don't know if you know this, maybe you do, but Virgie Robinson Elementary School in Pasco is named after my grandmother. And so my parents are up here a lot. And she was raving about my parents yesterday. And I was like, I guess we should know each other. <laughs> so, yes, She's an I know amazing lady. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to have all the radio listeners out there that, that uh, list for her award ceremony. Right. So everyone right. listening this morning, thank you, thank you, thank you for honoring Rika. But another one is Dr. Shelley Redinger, who at the time was superintendent of Spokane Public Schools. I used to be on the board of directors up there for SPS until last December, but she is also, now she's down here for Richland. So we actually have, of our eight women, three women of achievement, three women of distinction down here um, making a difference. But I, I will just say, you mentioned uh, what you've done for Virgie Robinson Elementary. There's so much that you've done out here, but I will tell you, Rika, there is so much need for hope. We needed hope six months ago. We needed hope a year ago. Mm -hmm. During this dark time of COVID, 
leaders like you are incredible. And I know there's a quote out there that um, to get to get to the far horizons, you need to have the courage to leave the shores. And I will just say to you, that is you. That is Rika and, and my whole board of directors, my whole councils uplift you this morning for being a woman of distinction. And I think what's best is the fact that you're not going to stop being a woman of distinction back in March and you're not going to stop being a woman of distinction today. No. You're going to continue to go out there and celebrate girls. You're going to go out there and celebrate all humans and let them know that they can be their best potential here. So this morning, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to introduce Jessica Dunlap, who's a Gold Award Girl Scout, our highest award Yay. in Girl Scouts, who is honored to come here and present um, our second of eight women of distinction. Over to you, Jessica. Woo! <laughs> what do I do with my hands? Like, oh my Hi, I am Jessica Dunlap, and I'm a Girl Scout who wants to change the world for the better. That is why I am honored to introduce to you a woman of achievement, Rika Robinson of Pasco, who earns the Social Innovator Badge tonight. Recently being named a top influencer in her Tri-Cities community, she is a popular and enlightening radio personality in the Tri-Cities region. Her mission is to be a light for women, to encourage, to be a positive example, and to share her story. Rika has been in radio for over 16 years. For the last seven years, she has been the lead host of the morning show on Power 99.1 called the Just Me Rika Show. Volunteering and being present in her community, especially at the Virgie Robin Elementary School in Pasco, is very important to her. It is one of the many reasons why her community loves her. Rika has recently, through starting her own business, added life coaching and motivational speaking to her title. She is a woman of distinction because she gets us to cheerfully believe in ourselves, to believe that our community can rise to new heights. She is a deliverer of hope because she innovates ways for her community to believe in all women every day. Would have read that. Yeah. Uh, that's what she would have that read that night. Yeah, that would have been it. my Girl Scouts. I so remember. she is I'm going saying, to. Yeah. She is going to bring this over and stay somewhat socially distant from you and present this beautiful, <laughs> this beautiful Women of Distinction plaque. I know we're on radio wow. here, but nope. it is it is <laughs> a it is time. Girl Scouts Eastern Washington Northern Idaho March 2020. Rika Robinson inspires our girls and is a recipient of the Social Innovator Badge, wow. uh, which she is also going to give you as well. So you can go ahead and take it on over to her. <laughs> oh I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> I'm not even a crier, but I feel like, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I will wow. just I will just finish up by just saying that, uh, Rika, I know one of your role models is Oprah Winfrey. And, uh, Oprah always has said, uh, be grateful for what you have and you'll get so much more. And I, and I just think that defines your life. Uh, you not only give hope, but you're just a grateful person. You're a joyful person. And when we got your re your resume and we saw your website that Tomlin shared with us, we were just all just overjoyed and said, again, this is a woman of distinction. So <coughs> you would have gotten this the night of the, the, night of the event because we just want to do something extra for you because you do deserve so much more. But we brought down a trailblazer shirt for you yeah. from Girl Scouts because you are a trailblazer and you're going to continue to blaze trails. Um, I'm giving you a patch here for being for being a girl of character because you just make this world a better place. And that's what our mission is. I also have my CEO <laughs> patch here because it's got the American flag and I know you want to make this country a better place. And yes. finally, like my gold award Girl Scout out here, the highest award that I have is a gold coin here given to me. I'm former military here and, and so I have a commander's coin here and it's just given to you. It's presented by me for you being a, a, a person of courage, confidence, in character. And you know, um, happiness is, is fidelity to a noble purpose and your noble purpose is making the world a better place. God bless you, Rika, our second woman of distinction and you will always be a woman in distinction for our council. God bless you. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Okay. I cannot believe that this is all for me because I don't do it for this, you know. <laughs> Why am I crying? What's happening? Um, you know, as we talked about my grandma's school, Virgie, and um, I learned a lot from her, even in my 10 years of life that I really knew her. Um, and then my parents passed that down. So I don't do it because, oh, I'm going to get an award. The Girl Scouts one day will call me or whatever. It's just I am to do it. I'm supposed to be a light as Jesus would want me to. And so... That's what I try to do, and so that's awesome that people do see that. And so thank you for driving all the way from Spokane to <laughs> honor me. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I am sad that the event that you 
worked so hard Brian to put together didn't happen. Um, but I hope your second one will happen. And yes, um, as you told me off air that I will be invited and I will come. Um, so thank you guys. And I cannot believe you made me cry. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I appreciate you. And this will go on um, my bookshelf. And um, it, I am honored. I cannot believe like this is real. <laughs> like, thank you. So. You're welcome. Thank you, Tri-Cities, for supporting girls of courage, confidence, and character to make the world a place. We're here to stay. Awesome. If you want to see what the um, award looks like, my plaque, uh, it is on Facebook. We did a Facebook Live, facebook.com slash power991. Thank you, Girl Scouts. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Like, this is... Yeah, for the cheers. Yes, of course. We would have had so many yeah. more cheers.